Hi, this is Winnie here. Do you think there's going to be a market crash in 2023 or even 2024? Well, I'm not sure, but I want to share with you this indication that I always use to measure market correction. I'm not talking about a crash, but a correction will start first, followed by a crash. I'm sure that you heard of this indicator, which is called VIX, which is a measurement of fear. Well, I'm not talking about VIX. I'm talking about VIX of VIX. I want to measure into the volatility of fear. Yes, to understand fear, but to also see whether fear is volatile. And this VIX of VIX had given me a lot of very good clues of previous correction, and I have used it very well in my trading. And I hope that you can do that. So let's go on to talk about VIX of VIX and how it had predicted various correction in the past. The CBOE Volatility Index VIX (VIX) is a real-time market index that measures the expected level of price fluctuation in the S&P 500 index options over the next 30 days. It is also known as the Fear Index because it signals the level of fear or stress in the stock market. Then, how do I measure the volatility inside that volatility? That means that how do I actually get that volatility out to know whether The VIX, which is the fear, it's volatile. Whether fear is volatile, it's most important to us. Why is that so? Let's say, for example, if the market is fearful and that fear is very, very volatile, it means that the market is jittery. So that's the whole idea here. The VIX or VIX ratio helps investors and traders to assess the relative volatility of the VIX, and it can indicate when VIX isn't very volatile and so isn't foreseeing much volatility in the S&P 500. The ratio is used by market participants to monitor the market's prevailing risk dynamic. How do you get the VIX or VIX ratio first? Key in VVIX. That will gives you the CBOE VIX to volatility index. Then backslash divide that with VIX. That gives you the volatility. I have now a chart that's backdated to 2007 and to now 2023. Let's take a look at the historical values because we always compare the current value with the historical value, and that's where we get a reference, right? Because if you look at VIX over VIX. It doesn't have a fixed value. We can only refer to what happens in the past. For example, in the past we saw that there was a high value here, and then we can sort of induce that somewhere around this high value will be the high value of the ratio. Okay, so in the past we have here, which is a low value, and perhaps that these are some of the low values here, and somewhere around here would be. The probably a low value of the ratio. Okay, now what is most important is to have a look at these ratios and correlate that with S and P five hundred. All right, most important is to correlate the value of VIX or VIX with S and P five hundred. So I have here at the bottom here, which is S and P five hundred over the same period, and I've also mapped in some of the high points under the vertical line here, where I've seen a high value of the VIX or VIX. Now, as I mentioned, the high value of VIX or VIX is to compare that to the previous round. So, for example, previously at seven point one, there was a high value. So I have to assume that near to the seven point one or seven point five region, there will be. Also, a high value. So the high or low value is taken from the historical levels, right? And there is no fixed value to say it is high or low for the VIX or VIX. But as a gauge, we know that somewhere below, let's say, three point five would belong to the low value, and somewhere around seven to seven point five would be the high value here. Let's in- inspect a little bit now. In each of this high value that I map in, where VIX or VIX showed the high point, subsequently there was. A market correction. Okay. Now, same thing here. So this place here, which I didn't mark in, you know that VIX or VIX went into the seven point five to eight region, and following which there was a market correction. So same thing here. This was the high value of VIX or VIX at seven point five, and soon after you went to a market correction back in twenty nineteen around that. Okay. So let's continue. And this was the place where we had the VIX or VIX to the high, and that was near to the August. Uh, 2021, and that's where the market subsequently, about a half a year later, went into a correction in 
so that's also correctly predicted now right now right now right now we have the vix of vix which is near to the seven region here but it is at this moment only at 6.17 so i can't say that it is near to the high value because when it went to that seven region vix of vix uh, show high value and indeed the index corrected a while so we saw that correction and one thing i want to I want you guys to take note. You realize that the VIX of VIX always lead the correction. It's a leading indicator. For example, in this aspect here, it led the market by about half a year. And here, it led the market by about three months. Okay. And then in here, it also is a leading indication. Each time when the VIX of VIX went to the high level, it's always leading the market. Okay, so right now what we are seeing is that it went to the 7 and then after a while it went down. So the thing is that the market corrected. It is not at the low side. Okay, it is near to the high side, but it is not at the extreme level. That means it is not at the 7 or not above the 7 level. My objective is to show you that you need to use the VIX of VIX, but you know, just go for some analysis here. In this case, I do not think that the market is going to correct soon yet it's probably we might need to see the vix of vix into the seven region or even above the seven region before there could be a market correction now what what vix of vix is telling us is that the fear at the most volatile time yet and not be too concerned about a market correction to come I look at VIX or VIX almost like every week, um, not every day because it's not an indicator that you need to look at every day and I look at them when it's at the extreme value. As I say, it tends to lead the actual price movement. So very important is to use the indication together with some price action that you are already using. I'm using wash and means, so I tend to look at wash and means at the week or the month level and then fit it with the VIX or VIX and that's very good for me to predict um, like an extreme high point or low point for the S&P 500. I hope that this video is useful for you and if you like it, remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button and I do run a course on wash and means. Remember to carry on to watch the next part where I talk about the wash and means and you can get full cost free cash back for the wash and means strategy that I'm teaching. And I'll see you again in my next video. These are trades which are done by myself or my students using the Alien Wall strategy. Join our community and take advantage of our six times a week training lessons, automated trade signals, and live trading sessions with our experienced Alien traders. And for a limited time, we are offering a 100% full cashback offer on our course fee. That's right, you can learn our strategy risk-free. Over 1,000 students have already taken advantage of this offer and seen success. Visit this website now to learn more and join our community.